While I'm not traveling, I decided that I will go through the list of everything that broke or has broken or has been an issue. There are a few clips at the end of this video. I drove through the little city of Jefferson, which is nearby from where I am, and you can see some of the, the homes. I missed the train outside Jefferson High School, so I am just going to grab a photo off of the internet so you can see what that looked like. But cute little towns out here. Sunshine. It got up in the 70s. Excited about that. You know, the first thing was the refrigerator vent that flew off on I-5 before we even left Washington. The fridge motor started to sound a little wonky, but it's running on propane now, so I don't know. Water pump in the truck, the bolt for the thermostat in the truck, some tires. We went through a few tires, electrical issues with both vehicles and the RV. The wood trim on one of the slides came unglued, unscrewed, unnailed. So I'm going to have to try to, to glue that back together and maybe have to use some finish nails to definitely secure it. The bathroom, the sink and the toilet have no water. The shower works, the kitchen sink works, the outside faucet works. Not quite sure why two of the five outlets for water are not functioning. The water pump in the RV is sounding a bit grindy. I don't know if that's because of whatever the water issue, the pressure issue is with those two other things, or if the water pump grinding is causing, did cause the other two issues. So that's gonna have to be pulled apart. All of the cabinets needed baskets. Anything that could fall forward. I put pool noodles in there so nothing fell out, but it didn't stay organized by any stretch of the imagination. Baskets, 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 and I had done some but finding baskets, I think I'm gonna have to make them. I think I'm gonna have to get thin, thin wood and I'm just going to have to make baskets to custom fit each of the cabinets. All of the drawers and doors need locks. I got latches for most of them, which are just clear command hooks from the Dollar Tree. And they're not even command, they're Dollar Tree brand and then elastics and you loop the elastic around the hook and then around the handle of whatever you're trying to keep closed. Tension rods, they worked a little bit but not for the most part. Those almost always fell off but the hooks have stayed and worked well. You know the island was a casualty and that got cracked and bumped apart and I'm gonna try to put it back together again but I don't think you can repair that type of countertop couch. The couch has got to go. It is too big. I'm not really sure what anybody was thinking other than you're only going five minutes down the road. Doesn't matter if the couch is in the way. It's just big and bulky and heavy and it needs to go. Window covers, shades, blinds, whatever you want to call them. Those have for the most part stayed in place. Those were on tension rods and just sheets. Uh, as far as that goes, I do have an idea in mind of what needs to be made, what can be made, and what will work and will not fall while traveling. The bed frame. The bed frame came unscrewed, nailed, bolted uh, from the floor. Not even from lifting the mattress like most RVs, but from the floor, the foot board part of the bed came undone and opened just like a cabinet. That was an easy fix. It was just screwed back into place. Seems to be fine now. The Ikea shelf in the bedroom, the wood pegs for each shelf dried out and came apart. I glued those back together. We'll see if that holds. The bracket that mounted to the wall to keep the shelf from rocking forward or falling forward or tipping forward, that ripped out of the wall. He did not use any wall anchors when he secured it. So I'm going to try to just remedy that with some wall anchors. The kitchen door, the only door, the handle busted the hell off. So it works from the outside, the latch itself works, the lock works. But we have to use a screwdriver to get out. That whole mechanism needs to be replaced. Spices. You saw that the spices bit the big one. Only lost one lid. I am currently gluing that back together to see if I can at least line the threads up and get somewhat of a cap back onto that spice. It was cumin. Poor cumin. 
didn't make it which i never used to cook a lot with it but since i've been making my own taco seasoning and chili seasoning and whatnot i've been using it quite a bit we have to save the cumin the teeth on the slides are jumping skipping those all have to be realigned they say you can do it manually so i guess we will find out whether or not that can be done when we get where we're going solar still seems to be doing its job I need to remember that as soon as the sun is off the panels to shut the solar intake off so it does not drain the battery at all. Apparently, once solar is no longer off the panels and you've turned the inverter on, it will backfeed, loop, draw, however you need to think about it and uh, steal some of your battery storage. For the most part, I think that is it. Enjoy the clips at the end. I hope you guys have a great day and I will talk to you later, bye! Out with my friend for breakfast. This is the Motel 6 we drove by. Completely went up in flames. Trashed. Breakfast.